What the Motion Analysis Lab helps us do is to evaluate the way children walk. And human walking is a very complex, integrated movement. It involves different planes. And what the Gate Lab allows us to do is to look at those from different angles. We came to the Motion Analysis Lab to have Jessica do some walking exercises to see what muscle groups really needed to be tweaked with for her to be able to walk correctly. My cerebral palsy leg, my left leg, they were, that's what they were trying to look at and see how they could help me and what they could do and help me with the surgery and help me with a better future. We really needed to place bike Shriners. We didn't have anything like that in the Seattle area, so we contacted our doctors to find out what we needed to do to get her seen here. Uh, we knew that it was a great facility, but I was really clueless on what they could actually do for her here. Our doctors in clinic see lots of children with orthopedic issues, and when they see children with walking difficulties or walking deviations, They'll send them into the movement analysis lab to get a real detailed look at their walking. So for example, you can look at someone from the front, from the side, from the top. And when you watch someone walk down the hall, it's difficult for your mind to integrate all of that. We take these reflective markers and we place them up and down on the child's legs, their pelvis, their trunk. And when they walk up and down our room, we have this set of 12 cameras that sees those markers. And then we can get this real precise 3D image of kids walking you know, uh, back and forth across our room. And that's what lets us analyze their walking in great detail. When you look at people walking, there's certain things that their pelvis does, their hips, their knees, their ankles and feet. And it's difficult, again, for the naked eye, if you will, to be able to put that all together. And so what the Gate Lab allows us to do is to break all those down into different parts. We can see how the hips affect the feet, for example. It lets us really look in a very technical way at the way a child walks. Another test that we do is called um, EMGs, and this stands for electromyography. So that's kind of a fancy term to say that we take these electrodes, we're putting them on the surface of the skin, of the leg muscles. The muscles put off an electrical signal that we're just picking up with these electrodes. And so we can tell when muscles are turning on and off. And so we can just tell like, is a muscle on when it shouldn't be? Is it off when it should, um, should be on? Human walking is actually very consistent in people that have a normal gait pattern. And so when you have children that have deviations, we have norms that we can compare that to that are very well established and we can show the child and look at the way their gait's deviated. Well, we're looking at how much energy does it take for kids to walk. So what we do is we put a mask on that covers up the, the mouth and the nose and we just take 10 minutes of resting breathing. And what we're looking at there is how much oxygen does someone use just to rest. And that's a measure of energy usage. And then they get up and they walk, and they walk around an oval that we have in the room. It's this big red racetrack kind of thing that you see. And so as they walk around it, we continue to measure how much oxygen are they using. This lets us know baseline, are they using more energy um, than, than typical, are they in the typical range, that kind of thing. And then it's also very, very helpful when we see kids a year after treatment. We repeat that whole test and we look at energy usage both before and after. And so, you know, our hope is always that they're using less energy to walk around. The emotional analysis lab went really, really well. It was a very positive experience for Jessica. They kept it very light, very fun. Um, it was laughs and giggles the whole time. They, they really tried to make her as comfortable as possible. It was just really fun. The, snap, the staff was really nice and um, it was just a blast. I loved it, it was so much fun. Children are referred to the gait lab. They usually have a, a diagnosis with certain problems with their gait. And so we, we look at them, we collect the data, we evaluate that to determine what the best treatment would be for them. And that might be a surgical treatment, might be a brace treatment, might be physical therapy. Um, it might just be continuing to observe them. Um, and then we'll integrate that in our, as we, as we formulate a treatment plan. And then we'll carry out that treatment plan. And the nice thing about the, the, the GATE studies is that we can have the child return after the treatment's been accomplished and see if it was effective. They decided that she needed surgery as soon as possible and that they would lengthen her heel cord and some muscles in the back of her knee and uh, surgery was scheduled as soon as possible. 
surgery was fantastic. The facility, absolutely fantastic. We had a very positive experiences. All the nurses and the doctors here were about her and caring for her. If she was uncomfortable, they made her comfortable. If she needed a drink, they got her a drink. Anything that she needed, they were right there for her. My ankle and everything was better. I had less of a limp than I already was, and the teasing started to die down. Everything started to die down, so it was really cool to see that I have more friends. I have, it's just wonderful right now. It's really cool. There have been many differences that we have seen in Jessica, uh, not just her physical differences, but her emotional differences too. Uh, physically, she can walk without tripping and falling. She can ride a bike without falling, which is huge. She has become a runner and loves to run with me on different events like uh, Bloom's Day. She's much stronger of an individual now. She has more confidence. She walks with her head held high now. She doesn't hide. So in Spokane, we have the only fully functioning uh, three-dimensional motion analysis laboratory. Um, and so it's a great resource for the community. Uh, we see a lot of children that have cerebral palsy, for example, is probably the most common diagnosis. But we see a variety of different uh, issues in the gay lab. And one common one that's becoming more common is, is sports issues. We can look at them and, and see if they have a medical issue that, that might help them. And if it were corrected or altered in some way, that, that perhaps it would improve their, their regular activities. From the motion lab and everything that I've seen and how they fixed my cerebral palsy is just amazing. I really like the fact that my tripping has stopped and the fact that, my, that I can ride my bike straight now and I don't fall off as often and it's really cool that they've done that for me and what they, what they could do, it's really cool. It has made such a difference uh, than going in blind into a surgery. Um, they have done so much with all the testing, it was very, very thorough testing. Um, to really pinpoint exactly what needed to change, not just here, let's just make a cut and make this muscle longer. It was very, very detailed on why. A lot of the things that we're taking care of are, they're, they're definable issues and we can really make a difference. Um, there's a lot of the things that we see that, um, that if you correct the child, it can make a significant improvement in their life. My name is Dana. My husband and I brought our daughter Jessica to Shriners, and Shriners really is our second family. My name is Jessica. I'm 12 years old, and Shriners has really helped me with my cerebral palsy and what I could do, and they've really changed my life in so many ways. I couldn't thank them enough.